Manila Ocean Park gives us the opportunity to get up close and personal with different kinds of animals. It gives us the opportunity to see what's in the wild. It's a window to what's out there. Hi kids! Hi! Ako si Ate Leslie. Is she safe in there? Yes, the diver is safe in there. In fact, it seems that he's friends with our sharks. Our sharks here are quite gentle, not like the sharks that they show in the movies. So are you interested in touching the sharks? Yes. Yes. Sige, try mo hawakan niya, no? Habang naka-rest. Bamboo sharks are slow and um, they're sluggish um, shark species. So what fascinates me about them is that they are spotted when they are babies, but then when they grow or they mature, their spots fade. They are bottom dwellers and they like to eat small fish. Before kasi, yung bamboo shark species, very prevalent sila sa Philippine coastal waters. But of course, due to the demand for fishing, nasira yung kanilang habitat. Here in Manila Ocean Park, we have a bamboo shark captive breeding program. So this is a way of us of giving back to our marine environment and letting people know about our conservation issues. And uh, we'd also like to show them that we are stewards of our marine ecosystem. Shark release programs are actually just one of the many programs we have of giving back to our ecosystem. We feel that we are stewards of our marine environment. So we have a role of um, propagating different types of species and giving them back. We've actually done two batches of our shark release programs. Our pilot release program was 2012 in April. We released juvenile batches of bamboo sharks in Batangas. And then the year after, we released another batch of juvenile bamboo sharks in Pangasinan. We are able to make the public aware that we are capable of breeding different types of animals and that our waters are safe, that we have 100% uh, chances of breeding sensitive creatures. It is important to let the people know that we are experts in this field. Okay, kids, I'd like to introduce to you to Kuya Shane. Hello. He's one of our sharks and stingrays trainer and handler. Hi, and I would like to introduce to you my friend. This is called the Black Blutch. He's one of the largest stingrays in the bottom dwellers family. So there are two kinds of stingrays, the one that flies and the one that glides. Stingrays, if you notice, they have some bumps right here. It's for their protection, like a body armor. And this one are called the thorns. If they grow, the skin grows, it's part of their skin, it grows also. I always enjoy working with kids. I always like their reactions. And they always ask the smarter questions. It's like they're enthusiastic and they, they have a thirst for knowledge. And these kids really are interested in knowing what they can do to help these creatures. So it excites me that we have another generation that, that's excited to work in this type of facility.